So now they get rolling their money because of child care tax. So they're just fucking having a blast while I'm fucking trying to scrap again. You know, just trying to scrap some change together to buy to my next meal. It's fucking great. Because that's when you know we move. Because I don't stand down. And that's the point of this brooch bros. And that's the point of the whole show. We gotta stick together. It's about family. Right. And you can't let these things that are going on affect, um, you know, there's some things I don't want to bring up because we got another show to do tomorrow. They are. But these are the things. And I, I, I say it and say it again. You heard me talk. We've been together for 10 years. What did I tell you was going to happen? Yeah, I know. You already told. You already foretold the future. And in advance. Now you give them all the money. You, those kids aren't seeing that money. No. Most of them. No. I see it everywhere, man. I see this pulse of just insanity. <laughs> You're feeding the fuel to the fire because you want chaos and destruction. But I ain't having it. But if you come up to me, I'll hit you with a fucking baseball bat and I'll discuss it to the cops later. I ain't fucking playing it, but I, I try to be, I, I'm working on that positive attitude, but I won't take disrespect. But you got people just stealing and like they just using the money for drugs. And, you know, I, I will say it and I'll say it again and I'll say it and I'll hold it up. Black is beautiful. Of course. It is. And all power to the people. But there was one man that caught my attention as Hugh P. Newton. And I won't quit to this day mm -hmm. to say he had a perfect program. And so did Bobby Seale and all of them. And they mm -hmm. got murdered. And this is what it's led up to. Right. And all they were trying to do is, I mean, they just, I don't give a fuck. And if I could, I would do the same. Pretty but good. when I'm working out yeah. here, man, and you're working like a... I mean, it, it, these corporate jobs are criminal. It's turning into something else. But I don't give a fuck, because I'm going to be the elite. You got to fucking go, man. You got to go. You got to believe in yourself. And, you know, I do the job. Mm -hmm. You can't let nobody tell you what the fuck. You know, you gotta, you know, you gotta come, you gotta, you, you gotta come strong with me. Because right. I know my rights. But they try to break them so many times. I, I, dude, I could tell you so many laws they break. And you know what? I love it. Because this is what I was born for. And I say it over and over again. Because I'm willing to get in that ring with you. Because I guarantee you, I want to see one of these fat motherfuckers keep up with me and my knowledge. Right. Because guess what? It's written on the fucking wall of it. It is. And I'll sue everyone of you motherfuckers. But it's right there. It's right there, but nobody reads. Mm -hmm. Or they can't read, but... Yeah. What's your opinion on that? 
On that in particular? Mm hmm I just want to know your general opinion. Okay, um... You want, you want the bag? Sure, okay, thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Let me, let me just make sure you... But that's what I, I deal well, with. Well, folks, you can't see my face, but I have a look of concern and... A far-off, distant look in my eyes, because... Sometimes I wonder if I'm even doing well enough. You can't save everyone. You can't reach everyone and positively impact everyone, even if you want to. However, you do have the people around you, and that could be your family and friends. I don't know if I've had any positive impact on David or anyone. But I think that if you can positively impact one person, that's all that matters. That's more powerful than trying to save everybody or make everyone happy. or I don't know. That's all I wanted to say, really. I'm... And the other thing I wanted to say is... Everything David has been saying is true. I don't know everything. However, that man has a very keen judgment. He has a sh very sharp mind. No, he foretold the future. Every bit of it came true. On top of that, his own grandparents foretold the future, and all that's coming true, too, folks. So, I listen to him. I'm probably just a nobody. But I don't give up. I keep going. That's all I can do. I wish I could do more. Ideally, if I could, just like Huey P. Newton, I would give my own life for the people. I don't see any other reason for me to be here. So I, I would preferably like to save a child with my own life. If I could do that, that was my dream since I was five. I said, I told my mother I would stand out in front of a moving vehicle just to save a child. That, that's all, folks. That's about it. I, I, get, I get this. Um, now, I read Bruce Lee's books growing up, and that's what gave me the edge. I learned, I learned from him, but I got this quote. Through the ages. The end of heroes is the same as ordinary men. They all died and gradually faded away in the memory of man. But when we are still alive, we have to understand ourselves, discover ourselves, and express ourselves. Yes. I get it from the dragon, baby. Right. Oh, I, man, I grew up on this shit, and it, and it got me through a lot. But, and I mean, no, 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 you better not, bitch. <laughs> I mean, but it was like, I I grew up, man. Like, I grew up, I grew up, as, I was a fighter before anything. Right. But I got into the poetry, and I shifted. Mm hmm I don't know, something broke one day. Right. right and right. I, I got into music, it was screamo at the time, and they didn't. They said my shit was weird, and I said, I can't even understand your shit. But I let it pass, but you know, did I ever quit? No. No, you don't ever quit the beat. No. And you know, you, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep pushing. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. To do. These younger right. um, people is. I'm gonna need a new cord, I can tell. Um, right, right. It, 
If you're not feeling pain, like you said, yeah. you're not alone. You're not alive. When you feel the pain, you're doing it right. right. And it hurts. It does. I mean, I'm talking about head to toe. You get out of bed, you feel like you can't move. Go in the bathroom and do some push-ups and shit. Loosen that shit up, take a hot shower. That's what I do. Yeah. Then I go to work and I run. But man, you feel like a cheetah because it's like you, you feel weightless. You like fly. Right. I mean, it's exhausting. Don't get me wrong, but when you come home knowing you did everything right, mm -hmm. there is, it's, it's worth its weight in gold. Right. You know, it's worth its weight in gold. I don't mind the pain because, as I told you, it reminds me that I'm alive. Yeah. Pain is... As I learned in Buddhism many years ago, pain is your ego. Your yeah, ego absolutely. is speaking to you when you feel pain, the sensation of pain, any kind of pain. It, and the ego is your survival mechanism. This is why you can never banish the ego. And this is a common misconception to people who study Buddhism, especially for the first time. You think that the sole purpose of meditation is to abolish the ego. No, you cannot abolish the ego. The ego is necessary for you to survive here, you on this earth. That's what they're trying to destroy. Right. So... Well, whoever they are, right, I don't know but, if there's even a fucking day. I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you something that's here now and here today. These nuts. But the abolishment of the ego is not the goal, it's the acceptance of it. When you accept that you have these things that are part of the ego, pain, and these, these, <laughs> these sensations like hunger and, <laughs> you, the, the greatest and sleep and all these things, these yeah. needs, needs, yeah. needs, right? That's your ego telling you. That's a, it's an important tool. Ego is not bad. It's not a bad thing. It's meant to help you survive. Oh, you yeah. need to know, you know, when to sleep, when to eat, oh, when to shit. all these things. That's okay. true. That's, no, that's useful. But the ego can also be destructive. Because it also can become corrupted from the time you're very young. What did we learn through conditioning? about safety and the course of right. psychology? Right. Safety in the course of psychology. And how it... Mm. Mm-hmm. How sure about this? Let's just think about it. We'll think and about it. And it destroys the fabric of society. Because all societies were built on what? Right. Great leaders who took risk Faking. without risk, risk taking and That's right. putting your life in danger. Right. You cannot move forward. That's true. So all this safety, safety. Right. Then there will be no moving forward. That's right. Is what I'm saying. Nothing. And because even right. if you look, look. I, 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 you know, I don't want nobody to get hurt. There's right. a level of safety you need, but I, I more call it focus, but uh, how safe am I in my everyday life? You're, no. You Is live there any safety? No, you're but do I get dangerous. shit done? Yes, you always live dangerously. But, always. if you, you, you're willing to die to mm -hmm. reach or prove, or, you know, you, you gotta find, because mm -hmm. life is not about safety. Right. Life is about soaring mm -hmm. by Icarus towards the sun. Right. But if he would not have tried, right, right. we would not have flight. That's true. The story of Icarus is very, uh, I, I will never forget it. And I, I grew up with the name yeah. David, so I studied David and Goliath. That, that story oh, is what, because I said this is where they fucked up. They gave me a Bible to read, mm -hmm. and I started reading and hearing these stories. But what I took from it, right. no, there is no safety. No. Without fighting something that's far bigger than you, and you don't stand a chance. Most like we live in a world where people will run and yeah. fright. You know where I'll be? 
I'll be out there with that fucking slingshot going, I'm going to beam this motherfucker. Hey, hey, I got my buddy. I know my buddy will be there. I ain't even saying no names. He'll be over there saying, get him, get him. And I'll beam that motherfucker. Right. And when he hits the ground, I'll be standing there with my foot on his neck. I might not look like a lot. Right. But there's one thing I know. Right. There ain't no giant in this world that's going to take me. Right. The, the only difference between you and the Buddhist monk is he'll be there too. He's not going to be fighting it. He'll yeah, be accepting it. Yeah, but I need it. somebody there with my back. He'll you know, accept because it. Because right. he, he's the one writing yeah. the book about it happening. Right. Because got, you got to have a witness. Because right. otherwise nobody's <laughs> going to believe it. Right, but yeah. But he's like, this little guy's going to go right. out there and hit this motherfucker with a slingshot and his fucking big ass head and kill him? I got to see that shit. And guess who the guy is going to be doing it? Right. I'll be an Olympian, motherfucker. i go up there and stab him in the fucking throat. We're doing it. Right, right. But that's my attitude, and I can't help it. So, like, we go all out. You know this. This is right. the fucking motto. We go all out. So, no pain, no can gain. I, can I explain? Not in my town. You did interrupt me, but it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. it was a good interruption. Man, it's been but a long way. When you interrupted me, when I explained how the ego can be destructive, though, it was intended to help us survive. However, there's a process of conditioning that takes place. Before you even talk, before you're even taught how to speak, you're being conditioned by the people around you, your parents or whoever is raising you. I don't know who it was. And they put... It was a lot of people. But they put these ideas in your head. And it's not their fault. It's not because they were conditioned before you and I before... I never believed them. Right? That's good. That's good. Because you have to find your own path. No, I have to You have to do your own. I, right. I never believed. Yeah. From from the day I was born and rolled out that thing, right. I, let me tell you, man, it's a trippy thing, man. I, I'd get fevers. I, I saw things. And the first time I went to church, I, I remember it, man. Right. I, I was like, I, I couldn't. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, don't get me twisted, man. Everybody needs something, but it's not for me. All right. I'm on, sure. I'm on something else. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't me, man. But I like the stories. Yeah. When I read them to myself. Of course. Because they can't read that you, well. You read them for yeah, yourself. Yeah, well, first you got to be a, <laughs> I mean, it's bad when right. you're a child and you can read better than this fucking guy, you know. Right. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, where? Because exactly. I, I came from an educated family. Mm -hmm. I did, man. Yes. My, man, my grandmother taught me great grammar. Right. And how to read. And like, like I said, that's why I told that guy I would smack him in the fucking mm -hmm. mouth. Because you call me illiterate, I would knock you the fuck out. Mm -hmm. I didn't spend 20 years fucking reading mm -hmm. until my eyes go out just for you to call me illiterate. Mm -hmm. I will knock you the fuck out. But, I, you know, mm -hmm. I know old English. Right. You study different. Mm -hmm. Styles, you know, but that's the whole game. Right. But I got some dumb hick telling me I can't read. I'll knock you out, motherfucker. Right. And like that's insulting. Right. It's insulting right. on my intelligence. That's sure. one place you don't go, and right. it's just a pet peeve of mine. Well, people shouldn't do that anyway. They but shouldn't be. Nah, like man, nah, no. I, that that shit no, don't no. rock with me. I don't no. give a fuck. We'll go down anywhere. I'll go down. I like. Right. I would fucking fight you. So that. Um, because I, you know, we work hard. Right. Well, I'm still on this. I'm still on this subject about how the ego can be dest destructive, and I'm fortunate to have learned this at a young age. I had to be probably maybe 15, maybe 15 or 17 when I studied this in Zen Buddhism. That um, the ego, while it was intended to help us, can be very destructive. And we are all tainted. Our egos are tainted. Every one of us. <laughs> like I said, you were brought into this world. Before you could even speak, your parents were instilling ideas into your mind about what is acceptable and what is not acceptable, right from wrong. But sometimes they would instill... Uh, unfortunately, some parents were really awful about this. And they would put these ideas in your head that maybe you're not good enough, or you're not excelling, or this or that, and they, they put these this sense of inadequacy in your mind, 
And we all have negative thoughts. That's part of your negative thought processing. But the ego hangs on to that. Your ego hangs on to that. And so you get these ideas. Say, say your mother would tell you, here's an example. Your mother would tell you, you're not good at this. You don't know how to do this. You'll never be good at such and that's such. The first dot thing da, I da, da, da. Do. Right? You'll never be but good. But to me, that's right? the first thing I want to do. I want right. to prove them wrong. You'll never be good no, at I dot, do da, da, it. Da, da. No, I want to do Right? That's good. It. But, uh, you know, sometimes that will shut a kid down and they think, yeah. oh, I can never do that. Oh, I can't do because that. Because everything I'm doing now right? is everything they told me I couldn't right. do. Right. If they would have appreciated right. in the beginning, I would be so far now. Yeah. But so, they would shut they would shut right. it down. Right, and, and your she, your ego would hang on to that. My mom liked my pain. She knew it helped and, me with my mental right. state. That's because I've fucking been screaming for years. Right. But you know what? It's all right. I'm doing it now. Right, so your ego would hang on to that, though, and, and, and maybe not for you, but for someone else. And, this, and say a kid would think, well, I can never do that, but that's not true. That is not true. That's that was just I'm an saying. idea. Go all the way. But your ego was telling you, oh, you can't do that because you won't survive. No, it won't you help gotta you, look right? For death. But you have to. That's right. That's right. You have to go straight into the fear, straight into death, in order to find what? Acceptance. <laughs> it's all about accepting. <laughs> but you, when you say I can't do that, you are rejecting. Yeah, that's what you do, and this is something I'm so happy I learned yeah. well, <laughs> from a young age. Because a lot of us don't know that. We're all caught up in that. Every one of us is. I have those negative thoughts, too, to this day. And so do you. But you, you know better. No, but no, But you know no, better. No. Well, it's changed a bit. Right. You, know, like I said, I, you can push past that. I, man, I'm pushing yeah. past that, but still, I stick by the rule. Mm -hmm. People need to be told when yeah. they're stepping out of line. Well, they do. Well, how can you grow? I hate a habitual <laughs> line stepper. Yeah. And you know that. Like, I'm the sweetest guy. Right. Say some shit to me sideways <laughs> and see if I don't put you in check. I mean, right. it's just a fact. Sure. You need to get control of yourself. Sure. And if you don't, go ahead. Try me. Try me. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, I'm sure, just saying, you know, this is right. not the climate, this is not yeah. the time we need to be coming together and hanging on because we're right. in rough times. Throw some unneeded <laughs> attitude to me. Yeah. See if I don't fuck you up. <laughs> me? Me? You gonna fuck no, me up? No, 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 you have no idea, man. Right, right. You have no idea. These people are right, fucking right. outrageous these days. Right. Am I outrageous? But, you know, I try to keep it cool. I try to keep the level down. I'm going to be there to help you. Yeah. But get smarter. Dude, right. I, I'm, I, I, I just, I, where I come from, I don't take disrespect from well, nobody. Yeah. I'm in my well, way. Why, right. why and I ask that? some questions like, you know, maybe you wouldn't be such a fat fuck if you actually got on your feet, bitch. Right. I'm like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I mean, I can't help that. Right, right. I'm not the reason you're slow and stupid. No, no. But nobody should. I don't need that either. action in my life, man. We, I mean, I'm no. work. I work hard as a motherfucker. I know. I work circles around anyone. That's why I they call know. me the executioner. You it's know like, these motherfuckers. Take something, baby. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> deliver it to you right now. This you is sure. on my mind. Yeah. They have this sweet girl, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I worked with her, like, she was... The thing is the idea. Right, right. Now, they hired this girl to do her job. All you gotta do is put shit on the shelves. She'd call out, out almost every day, and she was... But the thing is, I talked to she's such a sweet girl. Sure. And she talked about toxic management. That's why I washed my mouth around her because I didn't want to get turned in because you know how my mouth is. But right. she actually liked me and she said, you, you look like someone I should know. That's some gangster shit. <laughs> so I was like, whoa. But as sweet as she was, she did not belong there. No. And instead of telling her, you know, you got to go. Right. And this is, I dude, I got a list, man, I, and I'm getting sick of it because it's not right. They put them with me. Right, right. On purpose? 
on purpose because they don't have the spine to fire them. But they know they'll quit working with me. I, you know how many people are broke? Right. They don't work. At, they, they can't put nobody. No. But then they say, if you put them with me, they'll quit. Because mm. I'll run circles around them all day long. Yeah. But the thing is, is that that's not Definitely. fair. No, it's not. No. They should have never put that. No. They shouldn't. I mean, she's overweight. Right. She's got health problems. I know. Uh, and she couldn't succeed at a simple job, and you put her at a hardcore level with me, mm-mm. knowing that everybody works at, dude, I, not I fair. tear him down with it, but that's the, that's the fucking job, that's where we at, and like right but now, that- and I do it with ease, but these people, they put people they want to get rid of with me, but that's not fair no, to it's, me, because it's, 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 it's sad. It's not fair to either of you. Bro. The bro. person you're working with. But you know what? You took the job. I'm going to weigh you out. You better keep sure. up. Because with me, right. we Cause run all day long, best. baby. I throw shit off. No, you you in the yeah. fucking, you in the warrior zone it's now. That's how it is. But that's the fucking way it is. Right. That's it. But they do that because they know they'll quit. Right. But then. But that, that makes doesn't me make feel you bad feel good. She don't right. deserve that. Yeah, that doesn't make you feel good. No. No, she, she ain't no business being there. None no. of them did. But they no. put her with me just so they know I quit. That pisses me the fuck off because that's right. how shady they are because they don't have a spine. You know what I've been doing? Right. I tell them, go the fuck home. Right. And I'll cut your hours down to two hours a week right. and make you quit that way because you're not cut out for this. We told her she wasn't cut out for it. The next day, I don't turn around. She worked with me. I'm one of the most hardcore motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. But why would you put... But I have to be, because right. man, I run mm-hmm. all day long. But you know, I gotta make money, because right. I'm looking out for a family. Right. So I don't like. I took the job. Whatever you tell me to fucking do, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna, and and with a snap right. of finger, I'm gonna do five things more. I got a list of fifty things. I'm gonna have it done in an hour. I go. Of course. But then you put me with these people who aren't, you know, in mm. that. But that's the job, though. That's right. that's that's my job title, so I do it. But that's mm-hmm. the state we're in. We're getting such an influx. They pushing things out the warehouse. It's done got so bad. Right. But I I do it all. Hell yeah. I do I I do it all. But you can't just do that to people, man. No. I felt bad for her, man, because she was a sweet girl, but she was a piece of shit worker. Right. Why would you stick her with me? I know. Unless you wanted me to get rid of her. Exactly. But that's not fair. No, it's not. I mean, nope. I felt bad for her because I was like, look, girl, you can come around here. I like your emotions mean nothing. Right. It, you can't have no emotions. No. Here. No, 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 no. Because, like I told him a year and a half ago, this is war. Right. And I said I was going to get faster and better, and I did. But that don't make right. me. Um, the guy, mm-hmm. when you're the boss, that don't do nothing, sit in the AC, right. put him with David. Right. That'll get rid of him. You know what? You motherfucker. Dude, that girl didn't deserve that. Mm-mm. You know, she didn't belong there, but that don't mean... I mean, that shit pisses me off, and I was a little angry after the fact that they fucked up my paycheck and almost kicked the fucking front door of the office open. But we settled that, too. Mm-hmm. But see, you know, that's an honest mistake. I got, I you know, I ain't got no money until next week because they wouldn't pay me. But, you know, this is the way we roll. This isn't the first time. But, no. you know, you got to be tough. Mm-hmm. It makes you a better person. Mm-hmm. But not everybody's that way. Right, right, right. And I don't think it, you know, it just, it hurt my feelings, man. Because I really did like it. Mm-hmm. She was sweet. Nothing personal. No. It's nothing personal, no. but she's a piece of shit worker. All she right. needs to be on disability if she shits that much where she only works three days every two weeks. Right, right. But them three days, we work shit out of her. Mm-hmm. But that's the job. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you, you don't like going... But that that's them corporate people. Mm-hmm. They just... They, I fucking hate them. Right. They sick. Right. But it's a job. But I'm, yeah, I'm the poor bastard who, when put in that position where I have to push myself, I'll do it until I die. Until yeah. I drop dead. But, I don't care because I'm not you, one to disappoint. 
what you'll find is... And I probably will what die. What you'll find is <laughs> the human body is a lot stronger yeah, than you think it I is. have found you that. You're capable of more. Right. But you got to keep it moving. Right. Like, you just got to take care of it, man. No, you know, you, I like do these have... big wheels keep on turning, and I like it. Right. I have a strong sense of duty. I really yeah. do. But, I love it. But let me tell no, you. There ain't no doubt. I, I told him I love it. I want more. The thing is, but you got to understand something you can't about be me. You're giving me shit like that. Now, this is related to work. What you're talking about is related to work. Well, so, like you say, you whatever the hell has to be done, you yeah. got to do it. Right? So, if I know what I got to do, I'm doing it. And I won't <laughs> stop until it's you done. You know what the reward That's is? That's how I am. Right. The finish line. You know what you just did? Right. You turn around. Right, right. You had this whole thing. You right. You did it. You know, you did yeah. this whole thing. Yeah. It feels when good, though. Done, whatever you're doing, it you're feels done. good. You feel like you're a diver. When yeah. You turn around, look, you got a legacy. Yeah. You kind of get high off that. You got a you legacy. Do. Yeah, because and once that's you've why I told him, Muhammad Ali, yeah, when you float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Right. I love Muhammad Ali. He's one of my heroes. When when you accomplish a hard day of work or whatever, right? Any kind of fuck them. They can't right. say shit. But you you came Any kind of at it with such a force. Feels good though. Yeah. That. The, they're, they're it, high, it pays off. Yeah, it, it does pays, pays off. off. But it, the thing it does is, pay man. You, you help me? You fucking right. work it? You like, and then that, that makes you feel good, too. But yeah. you get all the, you know, you, I get the toxins out of right. me from the sweat. I feel right. great. Shout yeah. out to my boy Marco, too. Like, I yeah. didn't think about breaking my vitamins up in half and taking one Yeah, he morning. told me what he does. Yeah, I didn't I think I started about doing that. that. Man, <laughs> I started but it worked so that. good. Yeah. <laughs> can I tell you something though? Yeah. You know he's gonna watch this, so can I just no, tell no, you something? No, no, I love that. I didn't think about that. One day I told him, well, you want the mic for this? sure. Okay, thank you. Give the mic for this. <laughs> thank you. Man, you might have to fucking hold it tight yeah, at the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna have to sure, get another okay. cord. Yeah. Can um, Can I be heard whatsoever? Yeah. Okay. So Jesus, I said, put it that way. Can I be heard? What? What do you mean? How did I put it? How did I put it exactly? Are those angels speaking? Anyway, so I told Marco one day that we had that blackberry jam from our blackberries. I said that I usually have it with peanut butter. Have it on a peanut butter sandwich, okay? It's good. But then I told him, you have it on toast. And then he said, tell David that's okay. He can have it on toast and I laughed because I know what he's doing. It's funny. Because it sounds like he's given you permission. Like you needed permission to have it on toast. It's just a joke. It's just it's just a joke. But he said, tell David it's okay. He can have it on toast. Man, <laughs> that's I, funny. It's yeah. Most, it, that's, a, that's a delicacy. Yeah. Like, we don't do it all the right. time. But I bet it blows mine who have it on toast with peanut butter right. and mayonnaise. That's when you know you're going there. And then you know what else? I bet he would think that would be the most disgusting You know what thing. else he said? And he might, may or may not want me to say this, but it's funny. No, I don't know. Then he said bad. to me, then he said, well, you did what I said and you turned out okay. <laughs> so he said, therefore, he told you you could have the jam on toast yeah well, it's but not, i did no, but the thing a, is that's sort of a special thing right but the thing is i do what he says but it's in my best interest that's the that's Dude, the difference my eating habits would scare him he know. doesn't yeah but the thing is, is he doesn't tell me to do something that's harmful you know like about the the vitamins he didn't tell me i had to do that well, take, but that's a good idea and i i took it and ran with it God. He's right, you absorb it better. That's true. Yeah, it did work out good. I felt mm -hmm. it. Instead I took taking half, and, right. half of my vitamin water, <laughs> and then I took half after right. lunch, dude, and I was running like a speed Instead bullet. of just taking it, was, it all yeah, at once, yeah, right? I, I really like I didn't think about that, but I liked yeah. it. And it worked out. And I didn't get the shits, because I think no. it takes in too much and it flushes it out. That's what he's saying. That's, but that's yeah, it. Man, I was fucking wrong. Right. And Felt like shit later, but you know, right? Give it, give it, give it, and take it, take. But here's it. the other thing I wanted to mention, not work related, but this is actually just 
in relation to, you know, friendships or family or whatever, whoever. Any relations I have whatsoever. This is, it's about that. If I trust you, I'll do what you say. If you tell me to do something, I want you to know something ahead of time. If I trust you, I'm going to do it. But I'm going to give you a heads up. I'm going to give you a heads up. You tell me to do something. Did you give a heads up about do dirty it? underwear? Yes, I did. Oh, oh yes, I did. And that man had ample time to tell me. And, you know, even after the fact, even after. You think he threw him away? Yeah, I think he did. And even after I told him, I said, please, just say something. Just please say no, and I won't do this. Even after that, do you know he messaged me like there was no problems? He acted like there was no problem whatsoever. So I said, if you don't tell me not to do this, if you don't tell me no, well, I'm sending. I already squashed that, bitch. Yeah. We ain't got no problems. Yeah. But we're forever lost. Yeah, we are. But no. It, no, it's alright. But see, the thing is, I don't got time to be dealing with no. shit. That's no. all. It ain't nothing personal. No, just, not at all. Man, no. I don't have time. No. What you know, you and if he's know? still out there, if he ever does hear this, I want him to know I love him and I miss him. And I just want him to know I didn't mean to scare him. I didn't mean to hurt that man or anyone. Anyway. But yes, if you tell me to do something and if I trust you, I'm going to do it. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do it. So think very carefully about what you tell me to do. Oh. Think very carefully. I think I'm more upset than him <laughs> because you told me the story and left out of that part until the very end. Yes, and I'm but like, I don't get the it. only then I reason heard about that part, and I was yeah. like, Wait a minute. Well, Can yeah. you still hear me? Yeah, that the, might be yes, a but the only a major problem. It's the only, the um, only reason why I left it out is he heard me in my words. It's between him and me, but he didn't keep it between him and me. So now everybody knows, but that was his decision, not mine. Well, at least we don't have to right. make one more magazine. Yeah. So that's well, cool. that's okay, but I love making the magazines. Yeah. But yes, that's I did not lives. want to embarrass this man, and I didn't want him to get in trouble. So I said, it's between you and me. But he broke that. So now everybody knows. But, you know, that's I try right, to man. protect we everyone. Our own people, man. Right. Shout out Daniel. Yes. We love you. You have been right or die. I mean, he's right there with both of us. He really is. Shout out to my he boy Luke. He don't give a fuck. He's tough. I got a fist bump. I was lucky. Luke, work, I've man. never they, met you, they but... ain't nothing like a fist thank bump. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know you, but thank you. But you having a hard week, and somebody stops Marco, you and thank says, you. man, you're really laying it down, and they give you a fist bump. Man, yeah. you know what? That, I, that really gets you through the week. It does. You know, you're having a bad week and you get some love. And Marco, I've known him for 13 years. 13 years. For anybody to, <laughs> to stick with me for 13 years, I'm a wild child, okay? Hey, I'm I only am. three behind. Right. I'm only three behind. But like, like I said, though, I do appreciate someone who has discipline because I need that. I need that, too. We can learn from each other. But if you don't tell me when I'm acting like a crazy bastard, well, then I don't know. So then I might <laughs> repeat mistakes, and I don't want to do that. So you just have to get, just let me know, folks. Also, I want to give a shout-out to this lady. I don't know her name, but I want to say she commented on, I think, episode 38. This lady, I don't know who you are. I love you. I think about you almost every day, and I hope that you're okay. Um, she lost her husband. She told us that. And she also said that David reminds her of her late husband. And I just... I, I appreciate her because she said to you, you're not crazy. And she's right. David is not crazy. You know, I'm tired is what I am. He's, yeah, he's tired. He's <laughs> I sound tired. like Hank Williams' wife in that movie. <laughs> we hate that bitch, but right. I, yeah, yeah. No, that was that was yeah. in. No, um, no, that was um. Walk the line. Tired. Yeah. Is what I am. He's at the bar right. and he's like, here's yeah. a book. Like yeah, he's yeah, hitting yeah. Well, like, that was tired is what I am. I was like, man, Isn't southern it? bellies don't ever quit. 
June June Carter. Yeah. Tough woman. Tough. That is what she I She was am. tough though. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, respect. Have you read the book, The Prophet? Oh, the prophet. The thing in the movie, he said the prophet. <laughs> I was yeah. like, God damn, boy, right. he had a lip. <laughs> yeah. But the anyway, prophet. I just want to give shout outs to everybody. And if I forgot, I've, I've for, I forgot to mention some people because I'm on the spot. Man, there's so many, though. There's and so that's many. what I'm saying. I don't, there's so many. You know, I try but to think of Jennifer everyone. Van Dyke. Jennifer Van Dyke. Love you. Uh, you she's know, awesome. She, you know, she, she's, she's, she's really, cool. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah. I mean, a woman. Um, she's, you know, she's like me. No, she's she got nervous lovely. problems, and I have to talk to her sometimes. She is lovely. Because I like to share our nervous Hell problems. Because yeah. I know what it's like. Yeah. I feel like you're getting electrocuted because your nerves are just shot. She's the kind of woman who... But yeah, she's a nice lady. Yeah, like man. you said, you, she's it. not she's not a girl. She's a woman. She's a woman. She's definitely a woman. But the thing is, she's but the yeah, kind she's of woman who lovely, lovely. Great. If I was a young guy, Mark Han, I date if her. You love him, I date her. I would. If Mark Mark yeah. Han out there, Mark him Han, up, he's a great musician. Great music. I heard one of his well, songs. You, you me one I of didn't song even know it was him. I heard him, and I thought, who is that? I heard that voice. I didn't know that was Mark Han. When I looked at the playlist on YouTube, and I saw yeah, that was yeah, him. Yeah, he's killing it. He's his name? Killing it. He's killing it. I couldn't believe that. Yeah, it was great. I watched it on my lunch Really break. I was like, great. Because I saw it when you posted We have it, great fans. It. It's fucking beautiful. I love all of them. I appreciate all of them. Man. And like, yeah. like I said, man... This is what we do in right. hand. I just I told right. you beforehand, man. Yeah. The week I had was so strong. I can tell. Oh no, it's strong. They fucking right. they, they <laughs> smoke in the air. I got one bad luck. It's coughing awful. Up shit. I had uh two yeah. hermits from hermits. What's that movie. Damn. Okay. Um hermits. Harry Potter. Hermits. I had two of them motherfuckers show up in the middle wow. of a fucking tropic rainstorm really? with an umbrella when I oh, get off at work and you know I'm still hurt from last week. Right. Right. And they said they want two dollars for a cup of coffee. Yeah. And I said I don't got shit for you. Yeah, I don't have nothing. And this blows their mind because that right. dude that's the way I was man. I'm about to go to work. But right. the thing is everybody's hiring. They fucking hire. I can right, get you a right, job right. even if you own meth they'll hire you. Of course. They just fucking Hire no, you're you. not getting mine, though. Right. You know, you're not getting mine walking right. up. I said, why the fuck are you standing out here in the rain under an umbrella and walk up to me and ask me for two dollars for a cup of coffee? Motherfucker, right. I know. Right, right, right. You ain't going to buy no coffee. So right. I told him, well, I just got out of the truck. Dude. It was, it, the whole week was bad. Everything mm -hmm. was wicked. And I look, and there's these Harry Potter motherfuckers, they just, they look like something wrong. <laughs> it was weird. And they're like, hey, can we get $2 for a cup of coffee? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I said, I don't got shit for you. <laughs> and the guy went off. Right. But so what you mad. don't know. He got mad. Click, click. When I open this back door. You got a baseball bat. I got a baseball bat. That Who wants like some? And I grab, and I'm, I'm dude, I, I thought I was going <laughs> to, because he came, he, he started walking toward me, but when, you, you got these guys, yeah. like it's a crowd right, of guys right. working on a tree, and we, they live around here, they mm -hmm. know, they, they do tree service, I sure. don't know if they're dealing okay. with whatever, yeah. I don't know what the fuck they do, I don't give a fuck, I know I gotta be in there, but they're there, <laughs> they're, but they're there, they're there, yeah. and there's an audience now, because right. I said, I was like, I was like, oh, uh, uh, uh. Hell no. And this motherfucker didn't want none, but Bitch. that's the start of my morning. I'm still <laughs> half awake, and I'm looking. But I tell you, no, you're not getting this. Right. Two dollars. You go to use it for drugs. But I was in such a mood, <laughs> man. I said, I don't got shit for you. Right. Now, I don't think that's too offensive. Right. If I heard that, but and I was looking for drug money, I had to keep moving. Right. But this motherfucker started charging me, calling me a pussy and shit. And I said, hey. Right. I got something. And I mean, I thought I was about to. Dude, if you comment me, I'm telling you. 
But this is what I'm living with. This is the parking lot. Right. Leaving that day, though. Right. Leaving that day. Okay. The rain stopped. Okay. I'm leaving work, man. I got, dude, you know, we got food. It was a birthday party. I got ribs and shit. Sure. I got half a rack of right. ribs. Okay. Leftovers. Yeah. And I'm walking out with a bag of uh, corn. Right, right. And a black dude, as soon as I entered the door, said, mm -hmm. hey, and I walked up to him and he said, yeah. do you have any m money for food? I'm hungry. Wow. Still right. another. Like I said, you go in there and apply for a job, but, you know, <laughs> I ain't in this business. Right, right, right. He was polite. Sure. He was nice. It's good. And I explained my situation. Mm -hmm. Now, I had a few dollars in my wallet, and my hands are full, but you know what? Okay. I can't really afford to give him money now because I said, these motherfuckers fucked up my check because I can't do a simple job and now I don't have no money. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to borrow money to mm -hmm. my next paycheck. Right. And I right. said I, I would give you, you know, right, but right. then I thought I'm holding a rack of ribs and these kids are going home with me. You know, I don't give a fuck because I told them we're in the same boat, yeah. brother. Yeah. But that's the difference. Um, that's the difference. That's though. the difference, right? That's the he, he difference. had respect. No, had no, respect. that's the difference. That's that's different. Because um, he looked like he was on hard times, but I can't help him. I am yeah. too, you know. But if they didn't fuck up my check, right? But I said, and, why don't you go in the entrance? And I started to him sign for a job, but I don't know his business. But he was respectful, and that's you know I feel bad because you don't know people's story. Right. But when you look like a fucking two hobbits walking around in the rain, go home, motherfucker. Cup right. of coffee. <laughs> you need to go home and go to bed. That's true. And then what the fuck are you doing out? In what the I also wanted to add, I think, which no. may be a good point, if you said, you know, as soon as, which I don't know if you said this, but if you did say bitch as soon as bitch leaves your mouth be ready to swing no because I am. bitch doesn't go over well if you call another no, man a bitch I call them too. <laughs> yeah they no. don't go over well the thing is, be ready to swing yeah you know what's different between me and other people sure i got a fucking great fucking swing S and right. also i got longer arms than me other too. people and and but the thing is mm -hmm. when you pop it thing is you keep your hands yeah. open and you start dancing, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Why is he dancing?" But what you're doing is you so loosen up. So they don't up. know, right? And so as you watch, you watch your shoulders. That's right. And when you pop that punch, right, right, you right. grip it on impact, and you go through. Yeah. And you want to, like I said, you want to yeah, right. aim to the back, right, right, and right. you send that bolt. Right. And you put all your fucking Ooh, yeah. and I'm tell I guarantee oh, no. you, I, I, I've been, yeah. dude. I'm telling you, dude. I was a champion. Right. But that shit ain't good for it, man. I don't like to fight. No. But I can, no, I, like no. I said, you don't, like, dynamite comes in a small package. Right. And the thing, that, that's what I tell people, too. I don't want to hurt anyone but either. no, man, but. However. That's the, when I leave the house, right. this is what I got to deal with. The circus. Yeah. But, like I said. Right. The guy, I don't know what his deal was, but he was polite. Right. And he looked like he was in pain. And I wish I could have helped him, but mm -hmm. I was kind of in the same boat. But them other couple, yeah, yeah. they coming up with band-aids on their forehead and shit and umbrellas yeah, and weird... Just, no. Hey, no, no. What you need is to go to fuck home. Why right. is fucking heaven is far? Go home. Anyway. It's time to go home. It's time to go. You need a song. It's time to go home. Yeah, man. But, you know, I think that's going to be me one day. Great, um... Wouldn't that suck? Yeah. But I'd be yeah. polite. Right. Because I think to myself... You know, not that I would find myself in that person's situation, but I, I could. But if I was, I, I feel bad for him. I do. No, I mean, if they're no, hungry, I really I'll go buy them food, but right. I'm not giving them money because I'm yeah. not supporting the habit. But when you're polite, I'm polite to you. But don't come creeping up on me looking like you're from the fucking right. Hobbits. Like, like, and it was just fucking crazy. So, yeah, I got a mouthful. I, like, and, it's and, just weird. You got these creatures. And you know, folks, you don't have to ask why. <laughs> you don't have to ask me why. You know why. I'll stop and talk to anyone. I'll reach out to anybody. I, dude, I said... It's got to be the mother in me or something. I don't know. But, man. take you know, take a look at this man. David, 
is a living testament to two things. <laughs> My motherly nature, because let me tell you something, folks. The average woman does not stand a chance with this man. I am not an average woman. <laughs> I have I have proven that. I am not an average woman. Average women do not last a day with this man. And, <laughs> and if they do, it is torment. And here is the other thing. So you know that. <laughs> and here, here is the I other thing. It. You also know another well, thing about but me. But we understand psychology. We, we do. Went to college is psychology. I went to right. college. We study psychology. I right. know how to mind, but you and get it. Here's the other thing. Oh, I get it. Here's the other thing. And I have a deep understanding of myself, too. I'm also a terrible enabler. This man, <laughs> whatever the hell he fusses about, I assume there's a good reason for it. Yeah. And I leave it at that. And, and I still stand by that. You know, even if he fusses at me, I just figure there has to be a good reason for it. There's a problem. And therefore, right, something's wrong, you know. But I, I, I would hope in ten years that I have, I have done well by you. I hope. I hope. Only you can answer that, not me. I know. We'll be kings and queens. <laughs> but that's the we'll thing. We'll be kings and queens. That's the thing. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> right. I, I love it. I, it. And <laughs> I mean, it's tough cities. I love it's tough it. city life, man. Right. I'm telling you. I, I mean... Alright, can I have no one? Sure. Now, very deep now deep. Yeah. listening to my boy in this situation how insane it is, but he's going through it, but he's still striving, <laughs> and he, and like I said, he wanted his wife, people wonder why the way he is, we, we grew up in the streets, mm -hmm. we tossed away, mm -hmm. but what did we do, pick up books, mm -hmm. educate ourselves, yes, go far and beyond, yes, and yeah, start it. talking, I mean, start talking the truth, that's how you do it, I mean, all right, now, tell me if I'm wrong. Now, I ain't getting powerful on you. This is the last thing that we're going to go because this mm -hmm. is shit I've been thinking about because I've been seeing the way things are going. Mm -hmm. See, um, we educated ourselves because mm -hmm. we had the power of the mind. And reading, stayed in, I stayed in libraries. His a little slight different. He, right. he, he knows how to survive in the country. I, I lived in libraries. Mm -hmm. I read every fucking book. Good. Very but good. But I was just fascinated with yeah. everything. But then you got to go home and parents don't believe in anything. Mm hmm To the point you spy on them. Just to find out they got a personality. There mm -hmm. was none. Mm hmm And I just, I, 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 I like, my mom would tell you, man, I had a fucking, fucking bag packed up with shit. And I said... I'm going to Newark, New Jersey right. that night. Mm -hmm. I said, are you going to give me a ride? I'm going to hitchhike. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I was gone. Life changed forever. Life changed forever, yeah. but you got to have that experience, you gotta man. That. You got to do it. Changed my life forever. Yeah, but so. the thing is, is, I was living in the meanest streets, and I, right. fit, I fit in so well. That's what scares me. Right. Because nobody ever fucked with me. Mm-mm. No. But I'd get in fights. Yeah. But it was very... But it was just like... Right. I fit in. Yeah. Fit in like a puppet. Well, you know, I love... I, I love... I love the city, bro. too. And to be honest with you, when I was in the streets, nobody really bothered me either. But nobody that's cared. where I learned... That's where I learned yeah. how to handle myself. I think I really became a man there. But shit went down, I had to come back. Yeah. And now I'm trying to learn how to be a man in the middle of the And abyss. you're not joking though, it's in that walk and how you talk, it is. But you know, it now is. I'm here and right. I'm not quite welcome, but right. I'm establishing myself. And folks, you don't that's know what this. I learned. What right. I learned in New Jersey, you gotta establish sure. yourself. You have to. Well anywhere you but, are. You know, I got you mad love to. out there too, but you gotta man, establish yourself. I mean though the hair and the look, it don't go over mm -hmm. well and I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, this is, I don't know. I just I just wear whatever I want. Right. Folks, for those of you who don't know, I 
I have been told that I walk like a lion. Yeah, I do. do. Yeah, In the way I strut. Yeah. <laughs> and, but the thing is, is the way my sister described it is she said, you look comfortable in your skin. Do you know that that translates so effectively to people when they see someone like that? When they see someone walk by, but they look comfortable in their own skin. Mm -hmm. That says a lot. That's it powerful. Power. It gives them power. That's right. When That's they see what that. I like to promote. Because yeah. the, when you work, right. um, you set off energy. And this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If you set off a certain energy, it will, it will provoke other people to step up their game. Yeah. Good energy. I love that. Good energy. Yeah. But you pump yeah, yeah. people up, they'll do more. I love it. But if everybody's sad and complaining, no. they'll never get nothing no, done. No, nothing. It's no complaints. What are we fucking right. here for? And I try to move them that way. Like, right, uh, right, like right. move. Yeah. Like, make it fun. Like, right. But, I don't know. You have another quote? Every action should have its own desire. Every action should have its... See, I don't worry. I'm not worried. Uh -oh. Every action should have its why and wherefore. Mm -hmm. And there ought to be a complete and prof... prof what you got there? It should be a complete theory to back up the whole concept mm -hmm. of Chinese martial arts. I wish to infuse the spirit of philosophy into martial arts. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I insist on studying philosophy. It is a philosophy. And where'd I go after martial arts? Yes. Straight to philosophy. Right. Because it is. I the don't know. I, I, I don't I have hard book. Warriors had yeah, a philosophy. It's a warrior they philosophy. did. And, but you yes, can use is. that in everyday life. Yes. This is what I'm trying to get to. That's right. So one of the things we mentioned um, the other day, like the, the samurai, okay? They, that's where he's getting the, at. Bro. That's, that's exactly where he's blood, going, but right? That's where he's going, but so, he learned from all cultures. Yes. He's a, Bruce Lee is a beautiful so philosopher. I in, got another one. In the samurai philosophy, the warrior philosophy in particular, the philosophies that were incorporated into that code, into that warrior code would be Confucianism, Buddhism, Taoism, it's Shintoism, which is Taoism. the native Taoism. native religion of Japan, Shintoism. Yes, Taoism or Taoism, however you refer to it. And yes, Confucianism, Buddhism, Stoicism, Stoicism. Respectively, those philosophies figure into the warrior code of the well, samurai, and I studied that years ago. Loved it. Let me tell you love somebody it. that I love more than all of them. Mm -hmm. Navajo. Yes, gosh, no one ever talks about, no one no, talks they, about their teachings. No one. No. And I'm telling you, I'm coming from that. Yes. But the Navajo, the shit, but, but it's, it's that, but... Mm. They they walk in their dream. Right. I mean they're fucking. Right. They they're alive and they're ghosts. These motherfuckers. Right. But the thing is, they killing these motherfuckers. Oh, dude, they still know. killing them. I know. If you see where they live. I have. Yes. Your I mother have. donates to she them. She does. I, I wish I had the money. She too. does. Yeah. Because it is downright pitiful, but they're trying to exterminate oh, I know. them. But them motherfuckers. No, she's always But you them. know what? The, the thing I love about their attitude is right. they don't care. No, they don't. And you don't. know what they tell you? They'll be I'll back. I'll be back in your children. They they will. And they have. No, I know they have. I know. But the thing is, that's fascinating to me. It and is. Right. Well, here's another thing, and and I, it's been lingering on my mind here. Before we go, I know. Yeah, we got. But cut but, it but up. the thing is, what's been lingering on my mind is something you said earlier, and it was in reference to Huey P. Newton and everyone who served 
in the Black Panther Party. I'm not afraid to say this. Folks, I'm not afraid to talk about it. Um, that is one of the single most disturbing things, if you study into that, is that our own government, they saw the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover of the FBI said that their free breakfast pro program for children was considered an infiltration and all these people were trying to do is feed children who were impoverished and who had family oh. who had parents who did not have jobs they gave their parents jobs too they put them back in the workforce all they tried to do is contribute to their community and they were considered an infiltration now why might that be you need to think about this. Why might that be? But this is not just about black people. It's about no, us. About all black it's about all of us. No, no, no. Not only that. Yes. Um, happening. It's happening to us program, too. Um, yes. Inmates coming out of jail to serve yes. their time. They learn trades like yes. making shoes. Said, "Well, we right. need jobs," so they got shoemakers. They shut all that yes. shit down. Yes. Um. Sickle cell. Sickle cell. And they had Anemia. three sickle cell, uh, you know, venues. Yeah. They shut that down. Clinics you could go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all free. Right. Where they, you could be treated. No, they, no, right. they gave you a black leather free. jacket, free shoes. Free ambulance everything service. Everything was free. Free ambulance free. service. Free. Okay. Sick, I mean, everything was right. free. And it was an infiltrate. But these they called are, it this, an infiltrate. This is a community... Right. They was trying to take care, take of, care of themselves. And guess take care what? of each other. They wasn't all black. They were not all black. It was just a poor community. It was yes. also white people. They had chapters. Get it straight. They had chapters in other countries. In Africa. No, no, no. It wasn't Even about in white Africa. or black. Yeah. And like you said, most yes. of the race people are black. But it was a mixed community. It, was it wasn't a mixed just community. about it was about a poor community. Right. If you was white in that community, you right. was, they were just putting money. It was all free. Right, and they right, fucking, right. that's, that, that, that's an infiltration. They called that an infiltration. But in the same way that no, you no, would. No, that's when they introduced now, now, in, drugs now into listen the community. Now listen to me, please. Because infiltration is in how you would view an enemy at war, right? The enemy does what? I, Infiltrates. I don't know if I can speak right? On this anymore. So that, that's all I'm trying to say is that I think that was the single most disturbing thing to say that the people in this movement that that they were somehow a threat when all they were doing is trying to help each other that's all I'm saying I'm sorry nah you could man I'm done no, no, it ain't I'm you, done man. no like carry I said. on if you want to okay. I'm, just, I'm just trying to oh, stay okay. up man. <laughs> right I don't know, this might be bullshit. I always say that. Uh -huh. One of these days it will be. Just, goddamn, my body. I'll hand piano. it over to you. I got long legs, man. I can't I'll stand. hand it over to you. David Graham. Thank you.
Tune in tomorrow. Yeah, man. Folks. It's going to be a real show. This is kind of fucked up mess, but we got you. <laughs> fucked up it's mess. Just for you, man. What I do you mean? I to to my people on uh, Friday. You know? What do you mean, fucked up nah, mess? No, there, there's no writing or anything. Right. So, whatever. Do you think, <laughs> before we go, do you think I went too far? No. Do you man, think I no, did? It's going to be fabulous. It's gonna really? Be fabulous. This yeah. Is the fucking brooch bros. We let loose to get our tension. I'm out. self sacrificing. So we can be ready for the yeah. show because I don't bring my fucking work and shit. As soon as I the... hit record, I'm sacrificing it all. Like I said, I want I want right. our show tomorrow, the, yeah. the big one. I don't right, want to be talking right. about this shit. No. We about news, the, yeah. propaganda, right, right, points, right. and right. lives and interests. Right. So we get our we get our steam Which out. really our propaganda's Mostly joking about propaganda. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. were just talking I mean, about that. Is, right, right. But I don't want to bring my work <laughs> right. life into that. So this is kind of, yeah. you know, this, so is, what, this is kind of what we just let off stage. Get it out with the broach bros. Get it out of here. I don't have permission. <laughs> but I'm going to keep oh, singing. Show my, uh, show my raven. He has a raven. Skull. Yeah, Raven skull. Wait a second, I didn't get to see it. Show it. Oh, wait, Show that's it. The wrong one. That's the wrong one. Show it off. Where is it? It's really cool, man. We got yeah, some it's really hot. I like that. There. Thank you. That's hot. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Goodbye, everyone, and good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bitches. Bye, bitches. Bye. Tune Mom. in tomorrow. Right? I told you the slide is hot as fuck. By yeah, the way. It's a, With, so oh. <laughs> got, well, let right. me let me just add a note. Sure. Okay. We got these little ACs because my AC unit went out, so it's hot as fuck. Right. In the hot, like it's heat wave and it's smoke. Right. And I got this fucking beaming light on me, just cooking my ass. Right. So just let that be known. Wow. Um, but yeah, He's thank cooked. you, man. We do it all for you guys. We do it all for you, and I. We do it all for you. You know. It, and if you don't like it, if I don't even know who the fuck I'm, I'm right talking here. to, but it's out there. I'm right man, here with him. We we stay we stay we stay true. We we self sacrifice. Absolutely. That's what I do, and it God and you know what, hot. and um, it makes it hot. That's the greatest thing oh, yeah. about being self-sacrificing. When you're self-sacrificing, you know how hot that I'm is? I'm trying to make it cool. It's hot in the bed. Bye, folks. Bye. Does that mean I get a blowjob later? Woo!